Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm going to be making another modification uh, to my Sun Dolphin Sportsman. Uh, the one I think it's really going to make a big difference when I'm out on the water. So y'all stay tuned and check out what I do. Alright folks, so there's the Sun Dolphin. Uh, you can check out one of my earlier videos um, where I showed how I customized this thing. And I'm going to tell you what, this boat has been fantastic. Um, there was one issue when it rained. I had it outside and um, it took on some water in the gunnels, uh, but I got it drained out and everything's fine. Um, but the one issue that I have with this boat, and it's really not horrible unless it's really windy, but uh, is it's so light in the back unless you have another person with you that when you're using the trolling motor and you're trying to get positioned, uh, the, the back end tends to move away from you side to side depending on which way your, your trolling motor is pulling you. So what I'm going to do today uh, is I'm going to add a rear rudder to this thing. And I've looked and searched on YouTube and, and online and, and of course there are kayak rudders and there are you know different things. But uh, I can't find anything for a Sun Dolphin Sportsman. Uh, so I thought, well, what the heck, I'm going to just make it myself. So I'm going to take you all along with me uh, step by step, and, and we'll see how this thing turns out. Okay, so back here at the rear of the boat, this is the plate where you would, I guess, normally mount the little small outboards. Um, I'm going to use, since I know there's, there's reinforcement behind here, there's wood substrate behind this and this metal. This is where I'm going to mount uh, my rudder. So what I did, I just went to a, a local home store. And I got some plumbing parts, some PVC. So this is what I'm going to start with. This is just your regular, um, this, I think this is a three inch toilet flange. It fits in the floor. What I'm going to do, first thing, is I'm going to mount this. Mount that right there, okay? I'm going to pre-drill these holes. Mount it with washers and screws. Okay, so this is where the puzzle fitting starts. Okay, so I got this glued, and my next step is going to be to cut this off at the link I need. Um, I want to get it as close to the to the, the boat as possible, but I don't, you know, I can't get it so close that when I when I put my or turn my piece down from my rudder that it's gonna it's gonna hit the gunnel. So. Uh, kind of a kind of a guess, so hopefully I get it right. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue this cap on. Now the thing with this cap, well I'll say that before we glue this on, uh, I'm going to take a hole saw 
And I've got, let me show you this piece here. Okay, these are all inch and a quarter fittings. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hole saw, I'm going to drill through this, I'm going to put this through with the thread sides down, and they're like that. And on the underside, once I get the hole done, this nut's going to screw onto this, keep it solid to this. Then I will glue this onto here. Now the purpose of this is, is now I can turn and go down with my rudder. All right, so here's my cap piece right here. And there's my hole saw blade, so I've got that measured where that's going to fit down in there good. So hopefully this is not going to be a big deal, but uh, we'll see. Okay, I got my center. Here we go. Really got to go slow. This is tough. And there you have it. Okay, so you can see I got my uh, threaded bell piece and my threaded female. Got those put through my three inch cap uh, that's gonna go onto the back of this. And this is the last piece uh, that will be permanently affixed to the boat. Uh, I'm gonna glue this to this three inch piece on this flange. And then uh, the actual rudder system uh, will bolt through with a, a pin and, and uh, cotter pin through here, which can be taken off whenever you wanna store it. So uh, let's get this glued up. Okay, so you can see I got that glued on and the next step will be to come out of this piece with an inch and a quarter uh, piece of pipe and do a 90 down and then we'll start the rudder assembly. Okay, so I had to kind of play with the length of this inch and a quarter piece. Uh, I think about an inch and a half long is going to be about what I want uh, because when this thing is, is inserted into here, I don't want a bunch of pipe sticking out. I pretty much want to be able to turn it 90 and go straight down. Uh, uh, from this piece here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the 90. I'm going to go in and glue the 90 onto here. Okay? And then I will drill a hole through this piece the size of my cotter pin. I'm sorry, of my, of my clevis uh, pin. And then I'll insert this, mark it, and then I'll drill a hole through this as well. What that allow me to do is when I put this in, I can put my pin through with a cotter pin and that will hold this straight. So this piece, essentially the rudder system will be able to be taken off and stored. All right, let's get this thing drilled. Okay, you can see I got the hole drilled and I'm gonna have to take this off and get to the back side and tighten this back up. Um, but anyway, here's the pin and it's got different, you know, however tight you wanna get it, you just put your clevis or your cotter pin through there. That'll slide through here. Uh, once I get that other piece drilled, that's what's going to keep it from spinning left to right and keep us good and true. So we'll get this other piece in here, get it marked and drilled. Okay, so I got the piece drilled here that went in this 90, and I'm also drilled here. So you can notice that this is, this is kind of loose uh, and spins. That's what I want. The reason I want that is, is when I'm fishing, if... If something happens and I, I run up shallow, uh, I want to be able to come back to the back of the boat, grab this thing, and I can spin it, and I can spin the rudder system out of the water. Keep it from breaking, whatnot, whenever I get back in deep water, I spin it back down, it's there. The rudder system itself is not going to shift left to right because of the pin that's in here. So but I'll show you how this will work. This will just slide in, like so.
that pin will slide through like that and then I've got a, a cotter pin which I'm not going to get it out but I've got a cotter pin that will go right through there uh, really you probably don't even need one this is pretty tight in there but we'll put a cotter pin through there anyway that's going to keep this uh, it's, it's not going to let it shift left or right because of the because of the pin that's through it but if something happens like I said and it gets hung up I can take it and I can spin the whole rudder system up out of the water. So now the next thing to do is figure out how much of a tailpiece that I need and then I'll start making the rudder. Okay, so I've got all of this done here. So the next step is to figure out uh, how much or the length of the down rod that I need to start my rudder. Now I know just from experience with my boat about where the water level is. Uh, it's just below the bottom uh, between the gunnels here. So really it's only four to six inches of the, the gunnels are in the water. So in order to get my rudder uh, in the water, or completely underwater rather, I need about 10 to 11 inches of a down rod. Now what I'm using as my rudder, this is a piece of uh, plexiglass or acrylic, or sheet acrylic. It's eight in, uh, 1 8 inch thick. And what I'm going to do is drill holes through this. And then I'll zip tie this between the horizontal pieces of my down rod assembly. So I know an eighth inch plexiglass doesn't sound like much, but once it's zip tied and secured, it's really going to do the job, I believe. So, but anyway, we're going to get this one piece here done, and uh, we'll dry fit the rest of it and go from there. Okay, so I got the um, I got the down rod cut. Uh, I cut it about uh, 10 to 11 inches. I forget. I think it's 11 inches. Um, and I put a uh, this a T piece. That's going to allow me to put one horizontal piece across here, drop another uh, sorry, drop another down rod here and a 90, pull another one across the bottom, and then I'm going to zip tie this plexiglass sheet in between the two, just like that, and that should make for a, a, really, a really nice rudder. Uh, so um, let me get this, um, this other down rod measured and cut with my 90, and then we'll do our two horizontal pieces, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be on the road to being finished. All right, so here we go. Uh, it's kind of getting hard to film this, so you can see I've got my two horizontal pieces right here. Um, I, I measured those. Uh, I had to do it on the floor because it was kind of hard to do it anywhere else. But uh, my plexiglass will fit right in between these, okay? And then I'll zip tie across the top, the bottom, this back, and then I've got one more uh, vertical piece or down or down right here to go here, and it'll zip tie around that as well. So uh, let me get that done, and uh, we'll check back in a second. Okie doke. So there's the final rough assembly. You can see there. A piece of plexiglass is going to fit right in there. And zip tie to it. This thing is, I think it's going to work out great. I can snap it off when I'm out of the water or loading the boat or if when I'm fishing I hit a low you know some shallow areas I can swing it up so um, the only thing left to do now is I'm going to put the plexiglass in it and plasti dip it and it's done so you're going to see the finished product right now well, and there you have it. There's the finished product. I think this thing turned out great. Let's give you a little look at it. So that plexiglass is just zip tied in there, but it's pulled tight from both ends. So it's, I mean, it's snug. It's snug in there. It's not going to go anywhere. Excuse the mess. And I'm just. I'm pleased as I can be how it turned out. Um, I see no reason why it won't work as I want it to. You know, like I said, this boat, it, it does have a tendency to, for the, the back end of it to walk away from you when you're using the trolling motor or in wind or just, you know, just in general. So hopefully this will keep it true and keep it straight. And um, let me fish a little bit easier than having to worry about where the boat's going. So, uh, but I'll do a review on this when I'm, after my first time out with it and just let you know how it does so uh, I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video um, and, and liking and subscribing to my channel that it, it means a lot to me it really does
If you think of anything I could have done better or different on this, you know, put it in the comments. Let me know because I thrive on that stuff. I use your ideas, my ideas together to make something better. You know, so there's one more look at it. Pleased as I can be. So I guess I will get out of here and go fishing, I guess. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching and be looking for the review video on this thing and I'll let you know exactly how it works. I'm Jonathan and I'm out. See ya.